Hi guys, this is uh, Charlie here at Sterling Power and I'm here to introduce Sterling's latest battery to battery charger. We call it the ProBat Ultra and it's a device that is designed to be plugged in between two batteries, for example a starter battery and your domestic battery or an appliance battery of some form. We have them in many different formats. We have for example here the 12 volt 30 amp model so this is nominally rated at 30 amps at 12 volts. Here we have a 12 volt 60 amp model that can also be 12 to 24 volt. It can be uh, 24 to 24. It can be 24 down to 20, uh, 12. And it can be, uh, we've also got 36 and 48 volt models in this particular design here. Now, the, the idea of them is, so let's say you're driving down the road in a commercial vehicle and you wish to charge your appliance batteries as you're driving along. You'd install one of these, like I said, between the starter battery and your appliance battery, and when the engine's running and you're going down the road, you will be charging up your appliance battery. So when you go from A to B, by the time you get to B, your battery should be topped up if not fully charged. Now, the beauty with the latest battery to battery charger, the sort of the latest features we've put on these things, is called regenerative braking. Now the regenerative braking feature, if uh, you're not aware of it already, um, is, is good for modern commercial vehicles, modern vehicles in general that have a Euro 5 or Euro 6 or even more modern than that engine on board. For about 2008-2009 this modification was made in commercial vehicles whereby when you uh, start your engine for the first time the voltage often shoots up possibly above 15, maybe even above 16. We've seen it up to 19 and a half volts when you first fire these uh, engines up in the morning. And then when you're cruising down a highway um, and the, you know, the batteries are topped up, the, the voltage uh, of the alternator can often drop below the voltage of your starter battery, often below 12.6. We've seen it down as low as 12.0, 12.1. Now that obviously plays havoc with your traditional, more conventional battery to battery chargers. It has problems with relays. It has problems possibly with fuses as well. Now this unit overcomes that problem by perfectly regulating what the output voltage is that your appliance battery is seeing. So when your, your alternator voltage drops because it's, you know, as you're cruising down a highway because it's attempting con to conserve fuel and to reduce CO2 emissions, the the, the voltage drops on the alternator, but the unit shall remain on. So below 13 volts and above about 12 volts, the unit will actually remain on for 120 seconds. So the battery to battery charger continues to charge your appliance batteries, even when your alternator is in smart alternator, when it's in regenerative braking mode. So it will continue to charge. Uh, the other reason why we call this an Ultra is because it's jam-packed full of customizable features. For example, you can force this unit into float mode if you'd like to. You can force it into half power mode, whereby a 60 amp charger, you can knock it down to 30 amp. Uh, this might be beneficial if your AGM manufacturer, for example, only recommends that you charge your battery at 0.3C or 0.2C rather than at uh, maybe 0.6C or whatever the, uh, the default rating would be. So you have that ability to modify it on this new unit here. You can also modify things such as the charging profile. You can modify the bulk voltages, your absorption voltage, your conditioning voltage. Uh, and your float voltages can all be modified. You can absorb, um, you can modify the absorption time factor, the minimum and maximum time that the unit stays in absorption can all be modified on this unit. Now, as this unit um, does current limit, uh, you have no fear now of running an appliance off of your appliance batteries whilst driving along because the maximum current that can flow through this 60 amp unit on the 12 volt side is approximately 60 amps. If you're looking at the 24 volt or the 36 or the 48 volt, volt model that current might go up to 70 amps but generally speaking you cannot draw any more current through this unit than about 60 to 70 amps 
which is absolutely ideal. Often people, uh, they might be running large appliances uh, from their appliance batteries whilst the engine is running and draw a lot of current down their relay system. It might blow fuses, it might weld the arc of the relay shut. It could cause a lot of damage in the DC circuitry. By having this installed, you can limit the current to a set and known amount. So you can set your fuses accordingly. So this is a great feature of the battery to battery charger in general. Okay, also the, uh, the battery to battery charger comes with a 10 meter long temperature sensor. This product here that can be connected to the battery to battery charger and then this little terminal here will be connected to the negative terminal of your appliance or your domestic or you know your output battery. And the whole point of the temperature sensor is that it can uh, temperature compensate. So if you have it installed and it is very, very warm where your appliance battery is based, the voltage on the output will reduce slightly to compensate for that elevated temperature. And the contrary being that when it's cold uh, where your auxiliary battery is, where your appliance battery is, the voltage shall actually elevate to compensate for that drop in temperature. So that is a, uh, a device that does not have to be installed, but if it is installed, you do get that temperature compensation feature. Uh, if you aren't to install it, uh, the unit just defaults to its 20, 25 degree nominal setting, um, and it doesn't take into account what temperature your batteries are at. It has an internal temperature sensor, so if the uh, unit of uh, if the temperature of the unit uh, exceeds a certain threshold, it will then cut back and, and go into half current. Um, but if there's no external temperature sensor connected, it won't modify the output voltage at all. Okay. With the battery to battery charger, uh, we do sell a remote control as an optional product. This is the remote control here. Now this remote control has a 10 meter cable with it that you can uh, you plug into the back of this and it connects to the front of the battery to battery charger 10 meters long so you can install it in the helm you can install it in the on the dashboard you can install it any way you like it's a, a, a good bit of kit that has a, a plethora of options with it you can for example force the the battery charger into half current mode you can force it into float mode you can turn the battery to battery charger on or off using the remote control you can force it into night mode which is another feature that allows the charger just to run at half power for about eight hours you can measure so you can view the voltages on the input and the output of the battery to battery charger you can see the warnings or any cautions that the battery to battery charger is relaying to the remote control if you have the temperature sensor connected you can also read the uh, temperature of the auxiliary battery through the remote control so it's basically just a device that gives you an enormous amount of control it gives you almost complete control of the battery to battery charger and it's, a, it's an optional product um, so it's a, i think it's a device certainly worth having um, and thank you for watching i've been charlie thank you very much